boy Cat Four. We on the King Indeed, hitting the streets. All right, what's up, man? What's good, bro? You on the King Indeed? We call this hitting the streets. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. All right, man. So, yo, introduce yourself. Let people know who you are, my brother. It's your boy Cat Four, man. South Jamaica, Queens finest, man. BMF affiliate. You know how it is. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. For those that don't understand what BMF is, can you explain what that what the what the acronym is? BMF. BMF is the Black Mafia family, the mighty mighty big Meech. Okay, no doubt, no doubt. Y'all was on Gangland. They was on Gangland. They was on Gangland. Yeah, like they was my, on Gangland. Like my affiliate, Silk Pound was yeah. on Gangland as well. Yeah. No All right. Doubt. That's what's up, man. All right. So you in New York right now, man, Kev. So let everybody know exactly a little bit about you. What exactly you do, Kev? Well, what I do, I do it all, brother. I'm, I'm, I'm from the streets of Southside Jamaica, Queens, 40 Projects. Uh, you know, grew up just like everybody else. You know, my life was a little shaky, drug addict mother, uh, father not in the picture. Um, so, you know, I turned all of those negatives around to, to, to the gentleman that you have here. You Excellent. Know what I'm saying? So, that's basically it. Um, right now, what I do as far as making a living, um, I own a car dealership, a used car dealership, where I um, sell affordable cars to to people in my community. Used? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I sell used. The cars you drive ain't used, brother. Well, the cars I drive, of course not. You know what I'm saying? That's the point. You know what I'm saying? I try to you know, give myself the best of everything. You know what I'm saying? As a kid growing up in South Jamaica, you know, we come from nothing. So we try to, you know, fulfill the dreams that we always had when we was kids. So um, I always try to give myself the best of everything. You know, my kids, the best of everything. My family, the best of everything. You know, that's the whole purpose of me being out. Kev, every time I, I run into you or anybody runs into you, man, you always like in the flyers, whips. And I mean, I remember, I felt like I insulted you. I saw you at uh, some car wash, no matter where it was. And I was like, yo, you just, uh, uh, that whip is hot, man. It was like uh, AMG uh, Benz. And I said, damn, how much that shit cost, man? At least 80, right? 70,000. You looked insulted. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? How much that whip cost, B? Uh, it was about uh, 270,000. Jesus um, Christ. Car, there's only 2,500 of them in the world. Mm -hmm. um, they stopped the line on them. They're, they're not making any more. Right. Uh, you might can get, you know, find one somewhere, you know, at a dealer that bought one and they trying to move it. But it's a collector's item. You know what I'm saying? It's not many of them made. Um, you know, they're like a reproduction from the old school uh, Benzes, the SLs from the 50s, the Gold Wings from the 50s. Right. So that's what I was driving that particular day. So it's safe to say that uh, you're doing well for yourself. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? Self-made. Yeah, I'm okay. Self-made, you know what I'm saying? Come from nothing. You know what I'm saying? Roaches on my kitchen floor. Now I got a bunch of granite on my kitchen floor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I work hard for what I have. You know Absolutely. What I'm, saying? I'm not rich. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, uh, I'm, I'm rich with, 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 with God. You right. know what I'm saying? But I'm not rich with, 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 you know, stuff, material stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I, I do have some nice stuff, some nice calls. That depends who you ask if you're not rich. Because, I mean, to, to a broke nigga in the hood, like a broke guy like me, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's yeah. because a lot of us glorify the wrong things, Boom. you know what I'm saying? You know, so that's 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 the reason, you know, to somebody else, I could be a baller, I might be rich, I might be this, I might be that, because they glorify the wrong things, you know what I'm saying? Instead of glorifying the things that they should be glorifying, you know what I'm saying? My biggest asset is, is family, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? My children, those are my biggest assets, so if you want to call me rich in family and, and, and rich in being a provider, rich with being a father, rich with being, you know, a protector, you know, then you, you could say I'm rich, but far as material and financial stuff, all the stuff that I have is stuff that God has loaned me in the meantime, you know what I'm saying? Because at the drop of a hat, that stuff can just go away. You know what I'm saying? I think that, uh, you know, I think that we all can do better things with our money, including myself. You know what I'm saying? Do I need to have a Benz, uh, $300,000 Benz and a Rolls Royce? No. You know what I'm saying? Do I need to have a movie theater in my house? No. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, to each his own, we all can make better decisions and do better things with our money. So I, I'm not judgmental when it comes to stuff like that. Um, yeah. I don't drink. I've never even had a beer in my life. Never? Never. Never mm -hmm. even a beer in my life because, you know, I grew up with a drug addict mother, so I never wanted to, um, you know, fish in those 
tread in those types of waters, you know what I'm saying? So I just stayed away from drugs, cigarettes, weed. You know, I, I just never been to, into none of that. You know what I'm saying? I've just been into getting me some money. Um, right. I'm just a grinder, man. You know what I'm saying? My mom's always taught me to be a grinder. I was raised by all black women, strong black women. I had no male figures really in my life because my uncles was in the streets. You know what I'm saying? So Understood. they wasn't there. So, you know, I just always wanted to be a grinder by any means necessary. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I dabbled in a lot of different things. You know, don't someone. don't try to hide that uh that tattoo. tattoo. Let's see, let's see. Nah, it's you hiding it from me? It's, it's, it's pretty big. You know, I didn't I didn't want it this big, but you know, I'm proud of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, BMF. So let's let's talk about that. You know, the big homie, uh, Big Meech, unfortunately, is inside over you know some trumped up charges. In my opinion, mm -hmm. uh, let talk about him if you don't mind, without incriminating anybody. Well, Meech, I, I really don't have. I really can't um, say much about it because um, I came along after the fact. Okay. Um, you know, back in 2005 and four and three, and when they was getting their money out, where they was getting their money, I was getting my money here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I came along after the fact. Um, I'm not an original BMF member from, you know, back then or whatever the case may be. Um, I am more of a recent BMF member. How did you even get involved? Is it just like mutual friends and all that? Well, the way, the way that I, um, you know, BMF is, is, is definitely a very well known um, through everywhere you go, wherever you go, whatever you do. Music, you know, everything. Definitely. Um, you know, the way I became involved with BMF was um, his daughter's mom, um, me and her, it's like, she's like my sister. You said his? Yeah, Meech's daughter's mother. Um, her name is Talise from Detroit. Mm -hmm. uh, she's like a sister to me. And, um, you know, that's how I came into play with being cool with Meech and different stuff like that and you know from being around the homie you know being around his kid and being around the baby's mother and everybody always would say how much I remind them of Meech by the way I move and the way I carry myself That's what's up. by my whips and, and by my mm -hmm. persona and by the way I do things and they would always talk to him about me you mm -hmm. know whenever he called or they wrote him and, and different stuff so he would always say I gotta meet this guy you know I gotta I gotta meet this guy and when we um, started to write each other and stuff like that the chemistry was just there and he's like yo man I, you know, I want you to be a part of me you're positive you know I want people to see the positive and BMF not always the negative stuff in BMF amen and uh, he wants you know everybody to see the the position that he he has now after being away for 10 years and um, how he's, his life has changed and the things that he wants to do now you know coming home and you know being a different man and you know not being into the negative things that he once was into mm -hmm. and just trying to you know take some of that uh, negativity and turn it into you know triple the amount of positivity that he possibly can you know Southside Jamaica Queens guy no BMF doubt. that's amazing man yep. so well, so you hold on wait before we close out that's right Southside Jamaica Queens so you was there during the uh, the Supreme Team days oh no doubt you know my mother was an original Seven Crown you know what oh. I'm saying so definitely you know I have uncles cousins you know what I'm saying I know Preem personally right and you know. He was cool with my pops and would always tell me stuff about my pops and stuff like that. So definitely, you know, I'm very well known in South Jamaica, Queens. My family's very known in South Jamaica, Queens. Are you still around there? Do you still oh, go? All the time. My grandmother lives there still, aunts, cousins, uncles. My mom still lives there. So I'm in the hood all the time. All right. That's what's up. You know? Okay. So any last words you want to leave anybody right now? Uh, you know, I just want to let everybody know I'm out here, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm here. I'm doing what I got to do, you know what I'm saying, raising my kids, raising my family, um, you know, first priority, I'm out here getting me some money, you know what I'm saying, just because you don't see me, that don't mean I ain't around, I'm always around, you know what I'm saying, doing what I'm doing, driving big whips, yeah. getting me some money, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I didn't want to take the big whips this time, next time I interview you, or oh, phone no, interview. Oh, no, next time, let's do it, We that'll take a whole session, you know yep. what I'm saying, I got a bunch of them things, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yo, so if I need to buy a whip, man, or anybody need to buy a whip, where can we buy them, your used car lot? Well, like? you know, I, I have two different locations, I have one in um, Bridgewater, I'm in J New Jersey, and then I have one here in Queens Village on 211 from Jamaica Avenue. Okay. Um, we sell cars under $10,000, affordable stuff, you know, stuff that people can afford. Not lemons. Not lemons and not stuff that's going to put you in debt, you know what I'm saying? Wonderful. You know what I'm saying? We want to get, you know, people into, um, you know, good cars that's able to, to get them around. And here recently I've been um, digging into real estate really, really heavy. Right. So I've been out in Midwest, Detroit, Chicago, buying a lot of property. Um, we're going to be actually donating a couple of my houses that I bought 
uh, with my own money, and I fixed up with my own money. Nice. In the in the name of Demetrius um, Flannery, we're going to be um, you know donating these houses to you know homeless people and just right. trying to give back to the community that they that he's taking so much out of. That's powerful. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're doing right now. Uh, you want to let them know where your Instagram is? No, Instagram. Can you can hit me up on Instagram at the Real Kev Ford underscore SSJQ.